it's Friday night and I finally made it on. Oh my goodness. I have been playing with this YouTube go live thing for like the last 20 minutes. I don't know what went wrong in the lighting, I tell you. But anyway, it is Friday night. I know a lot of you guys are out and having fun or out to dinner. Right now is the perfect time for dinner. However, there's so much to be shared about real estate and what's going on. So in my title originally that I posted to go live tonight was agents, what's happening with buyer's agents. The good news is California is strong. And if you're involved in your California Association of Realtors, you know that whenever anything goes wrong in real estate, that our attorneys get together and they work with the forms committee and they make sure that whatever the lawsuit was about, we protect the buyers, we protect the sellers, and we protect all the agents involved. And that's why we have a legal hotline. So being a California real estate agent, I gotta tell you, I was in Chicago at the NAR leadership event um, back a couple months ago. And it was funny, somebody asked me what state you're from. And I go, I'm from California. Hello, how you doing? It's not a yesterday, your exam, you passed, congratulations. Did you take any of my classes? I can't see, oh you did, weren't you in the class like a couple weeks ago? That's so cool, congratulations. So what I was gonna say is when I was in Chicago and somebody asked me, you know, where are you from? And I said, California. They said, aren't you, got, aren't you in the state with, um, with like 50 pages on your purchase contract? And I'm like, no, it's not 50, it's 15. And the reason our contracts and our disclosures, hi everybody, thank you so much for showing up on a Friday night. I said, the reason our disclosures and our contracts are so long is because guess what? We wanna protect our buyers, we wanna protect our sellers, and we wanna protect our agents. And that's the interesting thing that they're talking about on these lawsuits is that lawsuit against NAR, our national association, was from a, it was from people in Missouri. So it was not from people in California. And I wanna be really careful with what I say because I'm not perfect on all the things on the lawsuit. If you wanna know more about the lawsuits and you're a licensed agent, go ahead and go to the CAR and the NAR websites because those are the ones that will really help you understand what's going on. So the main thing that's happening is people are worried about buyer's agents because what they're saying is, on the MLS, on the multiple listing service, they're not gonna show us, congratulations. Um, I'm looking at, oh, it says, you're an amazing, amazing realtor, you pass. Ah, oh, congratulations. So all my people that are passing are joining us tonight. That's awesome because you know, for those people who have not passed yet and are wondering about our class, we started again this weekend. So tomorrow we start at 8.30 in the morning and we end at 5 p.m. And we do the same on Sunday. And then back on Monday night, Monday night from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And it would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. And then we take the weekend off. And hello, Elisa. And then we go ahead and we start up again. But you've got to look at our schedule because this is NAR month. I'm going, NAR is going to be in Anaheim having all their big meetings. And that's going to be not this week, not the next week but the week after. And they're gonna take over Angel Stadium on that Tuesday. So it's gonna be crazy. But anyway, talking about what's happening with the buyer's agents. Um, it, actually, I was listening to a Zoom meeting, a big, um, it was CAR, it was all the important people and our attorney, and they were talking. I need some thumbs up, you guys. I need thumbs up and I need comments. And um, what she was talking about was, it's all about the buyer's agent saying that they don't feel they were, um, they were told that it was free to work with their buyer's agents and they didn't realize that the seller in turn was paying for their fee. So because the seller was paying for their fee, they're saying that they could have gone straight to the seller and negotiated a better deal, but that's not necessarily true because without having a real estate agent to negotiate the deal for you, you might have gotten a higher price. So in California, our listing contract clearly states that you're paying me X amount and I'm gonna take X amount out of that to pay the buyer's side, whoever brings us a buyer's agent. And they're saying that this is all gonna be better for buyers, but it's really gonna end up costing them more in the long run. So you know what, make sure that the broker, so a lot of you just passed your test because you took my class, yay, congratulations. 
And um, you wanna make sure that you interview, when you're interviewing the brokers that you're gonna work for, ask them, how involved are you with our local association and how involved are you with the California Association? Because it's very important for them to be following everything that's going on right now because our world is changing. Now, CAR is gonna have a class on the buyer's agreement. You need to go on the CAR website because there's a class on the buyer's agreement and you need to sign up for it right away. And once you sign up for it, it's good for a year. And I wanna say again, congratulations to Jacqueline. It looks like it's Jacqueline. And I, I can't read them all. Elisa, that's so cool that you guys all just passed. Like, congratulations again. Hopefully we'll do some transactions together. That would be really cool. So I wanted to get on tonight just simply to talk about what's going on. I'm gonna be interviewing a young lady who has been around for a while and has been a CAR director, has been a local director, has worked on the mortgage in, and she has lots to say about what's going on because a lot of times they're pushing for more things for the buyers and the sellers, and they're pushing to disclose more stuff. And at the end of the day, what it's doing is it's costing buyers and sellers more money because of the regulations that they're putting on everybody. So we're here to stand up for our buyers, our sellers, our property owners, and getting involved in your local association is one of the best things that you can do because once you get involved with your local association, you'll see that being a real estate agent is political because we have to stand up for the rights of our homeowners and our property rights. So I wanna make sure everybody knows that because there's things that are going on that you need to know about. And if you're a member of CAR, you're also a member of NAR, if you didn't know that. So once you pay for your local association, you're also paying for California Association and NAR, and they're gonna be in Anaheim. So if you're gonna be anywhere close to Anaheim and you wanna get involved and go to that, that's my light going off. Um, I would definitely, if I were you, get involved with it. It is a little pricey. I think it's about, mm, $495 to register, but then that gets you, I'm trying to fix my lighting, that gets you in on all the meetings that are gonna be going on. So make sure that you know that. But anyway, if you have any questions about any of that stuff, please feel free to contact me. It says, Jamie, where are you located? So you guys are all talking to each other. That's really cool. Um, put things in my comments, please, and thumbs up. I only got one thumbs up tonight, and I know that the information that I give you is valuable, and you definitely... Hi, Carla, how you doing? Carla, are you an agent right now? Are you a licensed real estate agent? Are you thinking about getting your license, or you have anything to say, any of you, about what's going on? Definitely put it in my chat, because I'll be looking at my chat, and I will be um, the president of my board as of November 30th. So it's coming up really quick. And right now I'm president-elect, so I get to go to the NAR meetings coming up. And I will come back and share all the stuff that I learned. If there's anything I can't share, obviously I'll say I can't share that. But anything that I can share, you are in, it looks like Paso Roblo, so that's a pretty place. So I'm gonna share as much as I can. I'm gonna share my journey of being a president of the association and let you know all the things that I get to do and all the things I have to do. I had to learn about Robert's Rules. So Robert's Rules is how you conduct a meeting of an association and you have to know how to say, you know, all in favor, anybody not in favor, and you have to ask for motions and you have to call for the, call for the uh, motion or call for, call for somebody to say something. It's super crazy. I'm not perfect at it yet. I had, I had my first meeting the other day because our president wasn't able to be there. So lots of stuff coming around. It says, I think you're, we're Facebook's friends. That's cool that we're Facebook friends. You know, I haven't figured out that whole Facebook thing. Honestly, I really haven't. But anyway, our class starts tomorrow. So anybody and everybody that you know, or if you already passed the state exam because you took our class, please share our information because we're out there to help everybody and we allow you to take our class as many times as you need to. And we like to say five or less because I don't know how anybody can listen to me that many times, but people do. And the class is all weekend and a lot of people go, well, I can't be there all weekend. Well, that's okay because if you can be there in the morning or the afternoon, when we repeat the class during the... Oh my gosh, are you president? Oh, thank you. Uh, you're congratulating me. I'm president-elect. So I became president-elect not last June, but the June before. And it was a it was a wild ride because I no sooner became president-elect, 
I went to Vegas for the Inman's conference. And then they took me to, it's just Pasadena, but it was at the Langdon Hotel in Pasadena, which was absolutely beautiful. I learned about leadership there. And then the next thing I knew, I was in New York, Chicago, all over the place, learning about how to be an awesome leader. So if you don't know what your leaders are doing and what they're doing to make sure that they protect our business, you got to get involved. And the best one to go to is, thank you so much. The best one to go to is Sacramento. If you guys can go to Sacramento, definitely go to Sacramento. It's usually at the end of April, beginning of May, and that's Ledge Day. So that stands for Legislation Day. And Legislation Day is when we actually talk to our legislators about what's happening with homeowners, um, landlord tenant laws, all those things that are important to you. A lot of people don't know that realtors are the ones that fight for our rights. Like they tried to take away the 1031 tax exchange and we've been fighting to keep that. The other thing is Proposition 19 so that you could pass, so that you could sell your property and take your taxes with you. And there's so many things that are so important that people don't know that we do for them. And we need to let them know, if you're a realtor now, let people know what you do for them. Let them know that we're here to negotiate for them because they don't know what we do for them. And if you don't show them what we do for them, they're gonna think that all these things that they're saying about us is true when it's not. So we are strong, we are realtors, and we are the people that help you get homes. Now, for those of you who are trying to go ahead and get your real estate license, it's really important that you take our class because if you think you're gonna take the principles, the practice and elective and go ahead and pass the real estate exam, I got another thought for you. There's things on the real estate exam that are wrong. You have to know the wrong answer. There are things the way that they word it. There are answers where all four answers are correct, but you have to, you have to pick the most correct answer. So there's so much I wanna share with you guys and I'm gonna be making videos, like I keep saying, I'm gonna make that video on where people are waiting on the fence. I don't know why they're waiting on the fence because right now rates just came down a little bit, but when I calculated it, rates were at seven and a half. Rates came down on FHA to a, approximately seven and a quarter. I can't say an exact rate because I don't have the APR. And it's very hard to quote an APR if I don't know your credit score and what type of loan you're getting. So we'll say approximately seven and a quarter is what they came down to on FHA loans, depending on your credit score and what size loan you're getting. But anyway, I calculated if you got a loan right now at seven and a quarter on a house for eight and a half, um, 8.5 million, I'm sorry, $850,000, that $850,000 house next year may be up at nine, um, 925,000 or more. So because you're paying more for the house, the property taxes are gonna be more, but the interest rate will be lower. And the one thing that people are not talking about that I wanna share with you is most loans, if they're FHA or VA, and VA goes up to $3 million, veterans, yes they do. Um, if you get an FHA loan or a VA loan, what you can do is a streamline. A streamline means there's no appraisal, and as long as you've been paying your house payment on time for the for they usually want to see the last year. If you're streamlining it six months, you have to have all your payments on time in the last year. So a streamline basically means no appraisal. They're not gonna ask for pay stubs and W-2s. They're just gonna make sure that you've been paying your house payment on time. And if the rates are lower, they will reduce your house payment at a very minimal cost. And most people are not talking about that because most of the people on the internet and on Instagram and TikTok, they're all people who have not been in the industry long enough to know half of the stuff they're talking about. And you know, I hear people talk about when there's the down payment assistance program and that they were giving you 20% totally. They're giving you 20% for all of your down payment. There was a cap on that. The cap was $100,000 and most people didn't say that. So you guys should be following people who have been in the business long enough to actually know what they're talking about. And I'm gonna keep educating people. I'm gonna do videos and upload them. I just haven't had a whole lot of time because I've been running with my tennis shoes on to all the things that we're doing um, to fight for homeowners. So please, you know, if, if you know other realtors and they're not involved with their association because they're saying they're too busy, then they're not doing part of their job. Part of your job is to get involved with community, 
get in, um, I'm sorry, get involved with your community, build relationships, meet people, help people, and they will come to you and you will have an awesome real estate business. So please give me some more thumbs up. Share with everybody that you know that our class is going to be tomorrow starting at 8.30. And during our class, as you guys know that have passed the test, we do everything we can to help you pass the California real estate exam. And from what I'm hearing from other people in other states, because of the way that I teach, they're passing their real estate exams in other states. So I'm going to be adding that. Thank you for the likes. I really appreciate it. And definitely comment because I go into the comments and I answer your questions. And if you have a video that you want me to make or a subject that's about real estate or that's about something that's happening with CAR or NAR, please feel free to ask me. And if it's something I cannot answer, what I'll do is I'll find out what the answer is for you. And if it's something I cannot videotape, I will um, put it in the, in the comments for you to um, talk to me directly and we'll talk about whatever question you have. And in California, we have the legal hotline. And with the legal hotline, you don't even have to call and sit and wait on hold all the time. If you have a question and you're a realtor, um, you can go, I believe it's, um, I have wrote it down, it's legal hotline. I don't have my glasses with me. Um, but we actually have a website that you can go to. Hold on, give me a second, because there was a big, I have lots of notes. And it's really hot in here because I'm wearing my new my new stylish jacket. Um, hold on. I have the legal hotline thing. It's, I wrote it down. Ah, there it is. Legal hotline at car.org. So if you are a real estate agent and you don't want to sit on hold to ask a legal question, you could just go to that legal hotline at car.org and ask a question and they have attorneys that answer us for it. So here in California, we protect our agents, our realtors, because you know what? That's what we're here for. Protecting our agents, protecting our buyers and our sellers. The whole reason we're here is to make sure everybody gets a fair deal. And, um, we teach all that good stuff. I'm playing with these ice cube balls. See these ice cube balls? Because when I was doing my hair today for class or for this video, I picked up the curling iron on the wrong end. I wasn't going to say that, but it really hurt. So it was really hard for me to get started on the YouTube because I couldn't press the buttons. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight. Oh, it says, it says wait, it says, you're, oh, you love my class. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for recommending us because we're really just building our business. I was, I have been teaching the California exam prep since the 1990s. I was probably about four years old when I started. I keep doing this. The light goes off because I have it running on my computer and when the computer's on too long, it does things. But anyway, I started teaching the California exam prep back in the 90s and then I stopped for a while and then I started working for real estate trainers. And then they wanted me to take my YouTube channel down. I didn't want to take my YouTube channel down. Plus, I didn't have the password because my brother started my YouTube channel for me. And um, he was in the hospital, so I couldn't take it down. Plus, I didn't want to take it down because I helped so many of you pass the California real estate exam. So um, they said, if you don't take it down, you can't teach for us anymore. And that was my cue to go ahead and start California real estate trainers. And California real estate trainers is not real estate trainers. We're not in Anaheim. We're at a diamond bar. Um, we have, I'm in Diamond Bar and our other, our parts of our office are in Brea and oh, thank you for saying the class was great. I didn't leave anything out, did I? And, um, you know, we're here to help you. Not only are we California real estate trainers, we have good customer service. We actually answer the phone and we actually allow you to take the class as many times as you need to up to five. We don't like to see you take it more than five, but most people take it about three times. Um, if, if they feel they're not comfortable, but some people take our class once and pass. It just depends on how you take tests, but I also teach you how to take a test. So this should help you with any other tests that you're going to do in the future. So you guys, I'm going to try to come on every Friday evening. That's my goal, except for coming up next week. I'm going to be at a film festival in Santa Monica. Yay. My film made it to another thing. And then the following week will be, um, the NAR meetings. So I will keep you posted and try to get on here as much as I can. Thank you so much for supporting me on my YouTube channel. Please share it with other agents because I am going to be doing 
things. I'm going to be showing you everything that I do as a president. I'm going to be sharing you, with you where you can find information that you need in your business, because especially with all the things that are changing, I will constantly update you. And like I said, I'm going to have a girl that's been a CAR director, a local director. She's been involved with NAR and she's listening to all the things that are happening. And I'm going to interview her. We were going to do it today. Um, unfortunately, she had to take her husband to the hospital, I believe. So we will bring that in and I will put it in my post on when I'm going to be able to interview her so you guys don't miss it. And then, of course, it will be playing on the YouTube when you can do it, when you can see it on your own. So if you have any questions or you need me, feel free to reach out to me. Do it in the comments and I will come back to you. And thank you for being here and thank you for sharing. Have a great evening and a great weekend. Bye.